if you don't do this my way, then you ain't doing it right. You see, my way is the only way to do this thing correctly. And if you don't do it the way you see me do it, if you don't do your gardens the same way you see me do my gardens, if you don't homestead the same way you see me, if you don't fellowship the same way you see me do it, then you ain't doing the shit right. I know y'all already know I don't believe that, but <laughs> how many of y'all heard that? When people will tell you, literally look you dead in your face and tell you that if you don't do this thing the way you see me do it, that's sin, that's wrong. I see that in the faith a lot, and I see that in society. Oh, by the way, Shalom following Yeshua. Welcome again to the rock. You see this in the faith today, you see this in the world. People will tell you that you're not living the book right or that you're not living it the way it's supposed to be intended unless you do what they do. Even that's not what the book says. The book don't say that. The book don't say you have to do it the way they do it. In fact, you can't even find a commandment that says that you are to do it the way they're supposed to be doing it. The best that most people can do is they can take a verse or two and extrapolate from that verse or two a whole doctrine. I mean, if that's the case, if we can extrapolate one verse and create a whole doctrine, I guess all you women should go out and be whores. Wasn't Rahab? Didn't she save the spies? In fact, I think all the women should be prophetess also. Because don't we see the story of Deborah? You see, this is why I have learned to stay away from a large, I mean, 99.9% .9 of churches, ministries. I don't get anywhere near them. Because everything that they teach and preach is you submit to them. You turn over your leadership or your, your, your authority as a man to them. You turn over your family, your resources to them. You obey them. And then today you see that same thing in the system. People tell you if you dare protect yourself, something's wrong with you because, you know, you're supposed to call the police. The police will come and they'll protect you. Even though you know, even though logically you can look at it and say, well, it takes the police a response time of eight to ten minutes to get there and I need them right now. I'm supposed to wait for the police to get there. And by then, my children are harmed. My wife is harmed. My, I'm, I'm harmed. The house has been ransacked. You know, children have been, you know, uh, things done to them that are just wicked as shit. But people will sit there and tell you. To your, they're blue in the face. And they are convinced that you are supposed to wait for the police. Because that's what the system tells you. Then you get out here, and, uh, and the sheriffs out here tell you, uh, no, you need to make sure you know how to protect yourselves because, uh, yeah, yeah it, may, it may be a minute before we get there. <laughs> different mindsets from different people. But I find it interesting in today's society that you see the same character in churches that you see in the system. You have people who are Democrats, you have people who are Republicans. You have people who are part of the same so-called, you know, we are Israelites. And yet there are bickering and fighting leadership, so-called, so-called, I put that in print, uh, quotation marks, leadership, bickering back and forth. Well, there ain't no, no group like our group. And then so what I do is I look at all these different groups that are bickering and fighting and, you know, you need to follow me and submit to me and I'm a shepherd and all that other shit. When Psalms 23 says, Yahweh is my shepherd, I shall not want. In the uh, uh, Gospels, we read that Yeshua says that he is a good shepherd. But they'll still tell you that they're a shepherd. Okay, so you, you're, you're, you're a shepherd, all right. They'll tell you to follow them. They'll tell you if you're part of this group or this ministry. That shit reminds me back when I was in the streets. See, I understand that sort of warfare. I understand the warfare of this is my color and this is your color. And because your color is that color, if you come on my, my block, 
or even even in in in, in, in certain gangs you had sets and the different sets were against each other you see that in christianity where you have you know uh the seventh day adventist church and then you have the, the the baptist church two different sets and then those sets break up and create even smaller sets where you have different baptist sets and now you have even different seventh day adventist sets you have so-called israel so then you have the black hebrew israelites and then you have the hebrew israelites and then you have you know they they break off in the different sets and different groups and then just, and then there's warfare within them i am living back in, in in socal and and there was a i don't want to get too detailed but a gang down there and there were two different sets they were part of the same gang but two different sets never stopped warring with each other to this day they still war with each other down there but they claim to be part of the same game. You see that today. Paul tried to address that. When he said, you know, I do the water. You know, people say, people run around saying, well, I am a Paul. And others are saying, I'm of Apollos. And some are even saying, I'm a Peter. And, Yash and he said, aren't we supposed to all be of Yahshua? Aren't we supposed to all be this? Do you see the division? And for me, the division is no big deal because I just sit on the outside and watch it all. I sit on the outside and I, you know, people send me videos. Did you see this? Did you see that? Did you see this? Did you see that? And I sit back and watch. And I said, huh, I thank y'all that I obeyed his word and I focused on my own work. I thank y'all that I'm no longer part of that shit. I thank y'all that I'm no longer banging on another person or banging on another set. I pray Jah he delivered me from that foolishness. A lot of people don't understand that foolishness. And a lot of people need to be delivered from that foolishness, but they can't be delivered from that foolishness. If this person did this to me. You know, one of the things that I'm, I've learned, you know, because I was also part of that atmosphere and was done wrong. Okay. But I'm learning continuously to not have that, uh, one of my brothers uh, said it recently, that battered wife syndrome, that battered woman syndrome, where you get battered, you are getting literally, or battered man syndrome, shit, the way it, things are going today, you see just as many men who are going through emotional abuse with, you know, the, the woman that they're with, the woman just abusing the shit out of him emotionally, that, you know, that, that's real emotional abuse, but then you have the, the men who do this shit to women, and they stay around, and they keep, you know, in contact because they're battered, and, and, and even though they are the victim of it, the, they, they need it to function. They need that abuse. They need that hurt. They need that trauma. So I am learning to this day. Just walk away from some of this. I'm learning. Don't contact a lot of the people. Don't figure out what happened. Mind your own damn business, Chris. Follow Yah. Keep the commandments. Fellowship with those that are like-minded, that also are striving in this walk, who aren't caught up in all this bullshit. When you realize you don't have a, a, a dog, a pony in the race of pride versus pride, and you're sitting out here trying to figure out you know, how many more gardens you're going to put in? You're trying to figure out how to, how many more chickens you're going to butcher. And you're figuring out, you know, I have another pregnant goat and, you know, my goats are multiplying. And you're figuring out, man, I have a, a really big family and, 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 you know, I'm leading and guiding them. You realize you ain't got time for all this bullshit. You realize a system is falling. I ain't got time to be sitting here listening to people argue over scraps trying to figure out this, that, and the other. I've learned that all these things are supposed to happen. These groups are supposed to fight. These ascensions are supposed to happen. There are supposed to be distractions in this walk. The system's distracting you. And then you go to the proverbial, which, what we would call faith. And I'm not speaking against the faith. I'm speaking against these groups that call themselves of the faith. But it's all distraction. It's all there to garner your attention. To take your attention off of where it's supposed to be on, which is the most high y'all and his commandments. Men taking care of your family. 
wives honoring, submitting to your husband, children obeying your father and your mother so that your days may be long. Instead, the focus becomes what group are you with? What set are you from? And if you're not from the right set, we will talk shit on you. We can't fellowship with you because you're not part of, you don't have this emblem on your shirt or you don't say his name the way I say his name or you aren't our brother because leadership said you aren't my brother. What? Yeah, sure. So who's my brother? Who's my mother? Except they that keep the commandments of Yah. Then we read it in one of the in one of the Johns. I can't remember which one. But if a person does not believe in Yeshua Hamashiach, how is he your brother? So I, I, there's two great standards set right there. You believe in Yeshua Hamashiach, following Yeshua, and keeping the commandments of Yah. That's it. But when you start getting into the telling me that I'm not this and I'm that, the reason why following Yeshua, I had people say this about me, hey, the reason why following Yeshua won't uh, take people's tithes and offerings is because he doesn't want accountability. I had somebody tell me that. <laughs> Sent me an email. <laughs> I had somebody, the reason why you won't let people move on to your house, move on to your properties, because you don't want accountability. I'm like, man, this is interesting. A lot of people come around and tell me what I think. But I didn't say it. They didn't even ask me what I thought. They just told me the reason why I'm not doing it is because of this. And I was sitting there like, you know, at that point, you don't even justify it. You don't even say, no, it's because of this. Because in reality, the person already told you what their accusation against you is. Who is the accuser of the brethren? The devil is. So I just got accused by the devil because I didn't say shit. They don't even know if I'm talking to people in that aspect. They don't know. They just make the assumption. And even if I wasn't, am I breaking a law? Did I break a law that said, or did my brothers break a law that said that they had to? I keep the law. I understand what the law says, the book says. The problem is, is a lot of people today that want a free ride and a free scholarship. They want to come to your property and sit back. And then I don't want to become that person that takes people's shit. And keeps them in their perpetual servanthood. I don't want to be that person. So I'll walk this faith out. Based on what I see in this book. And I understand it's not going to make me popular. I understand it's, it ain't people everyone going to like it. But I'm still trying to figure out when I look at all those people in the bucket, fighting and scrapping for scraps from the table of Longshanks, I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen when Longshanks decides he ain't giving you no more shit. When he decides that he ain't giving you the scraps from his table no more. What's going to happen if shit befalls this society and you're the odd one out. They decide that you're the one who's not going to be eaten. You going to be cool with that? You better get real with your faith. You better get real with your walk. But this is just one, another reason why I and many of the brothers I fellowship with, many of the brothers I fellowship with, have decided that we're going to serve y'all and keep the commandments. We're going to keep our own preeminence too. We're going to fellowship with other brethren. We're going to submit ourselves one to another. We're going to keep our own preeminence too. Ain't nothing wrong with having y'all as my shepherd. Because if I have him as my shepherd, I shall not want. He will make me to lie. Well, you go ahead and read Psalms 23. Because when he leads you beside them still waters and when he restores your soul, there ain't nothing like it. No man can come close to that. Bless y'all. I know this is kind of a long video, 
But this is kind of my response to all the drama that I'm seeing out there. I'm focused on me and my household and my brothers that are walking this thing out. I'm not focused on the drama. Because the drama is always going to be there. And these same people that are in drama today were in drama yesterday. Were in drama last year. Were in drama the year before that. And will be in drama in their future. I try and strive to walk peaceably with all men. And I, but I also know when it's time to separate myself from them. Shalom.